Hello kids! I'm Pastor Jodel and welcome again to another episode of Everyday Jesus. Thank you again so much for being here with us today. And I know that you are so excited to worship the Lord and get to know Him more by reading His Word. So let's get started by doing our prayer magnets and let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you again so much for this very wonderful day that you have given us. Thank you, Lord, for all your blessings. And thank you that we can worship you with all of our hearts and get to know you more by reading your word. Help us, Lord, to understand it and apply it in our daily lives. We love you so much, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Jesus is the best. So let's all stand up and let's worship with Everyday Jesus. the Lord today. So let's all stand up. One, two, three. Woo! Yes! We love to praise Jesus. Every Amen. Day. Every day. Yes. Every day, Jesus, I will praise you. Every day, Jesus, I will worship you. Every day, Jesus, I will love you. Every day,
are taking care of us and your goodness and your mercy will follow us all the days of our lives. We love you, Lord, and we give you glory and we give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. He's the best. Yeah. Woo! Hello, kids! So did you enjoy worship time with Pastor Gary and Pam? I know you did! And now it's time for our Bible story. And you know what to bring, right? When it's Bible story time, please get your Bible and of course, your journal and your favorite pen. And when you're ready, we can now recite our rule time. Rule number one, hands behave. Rule number two, Eyes watchful. Rule number three, ears listening. And rule number four, mouth silent. Very good job, everybody. Now I know that you all memorized those four rules. And now it's time for us to read our story for today. So open your Bibles in the book of Acts chapter 20 beginning with verse 17 until verse 38. From Miletus, Paul sent to Ephesus for the elders of the church. When they arrived, he said to them, You know how I lived the whole time I was with you. From the first day I came into the province of Asia, I served the Lord with great humility and with tears, although I was severely tested by the plots of the Jews. You know that I have not hesitated to preach anything that would be helpful to you, but have taught you publicly and from house to house. I have declared to both Jews and Greeks that they must turn to God in repentance and have faith in our Lord Jesus. And now, compelled by the Spirit, I am going to Jerusalem, not knowing what will happen to me there. I only know that in every city, the Holy Spirit warns me that prison and hardships are facing me. However, I consider my life worth nothing to me, if only I may finish the race and complete the task the Lord Jesus has given me, the task of testifying to the gospel of God's grace. Now let's jump to verse 32. Now I commit to you, you to God and to the word of His grace which can build you up and give you an inheritance among all those who are sanctified. I have not coveted anyone's silver or gold or clothing. You yourselves know that these hands of mine have supplied my own needs and the needs of my companions. In everything I did, I showed you that by this kind of hard work, we must help the weak, remembering the words the Lord Jesus himself said, it, are, it is more blessed to give than to receive. When he had said this, he knelt down with all of them and prayed. They all wept as they embraced him and kissed him. What grieved them most was his statement that they would never see his face again. Then they accompanied him to the ship. Wow, kids, our story for today is about a servant of God, a man named Paul. And right now, he is bidding his goodbye to the church in that place. And he said, remember how I worked among you, how I helped you grow in the Lord Jesus Christ, and now I am committing you to God as I move on to Jerusalem where the Holy Spirit is leading me. What a great church leader Paul is. What a great leader among the people. Someone who is a servant of God and who teaches the people how to grow deeper and stronger in their relationship with the Lord. And even before he bid his goodbye, he committed them to the one who can help them, the Lord Jesus Christ. So good leaders, kids, will always point you to Jesus and not to themselves. They will always help you to get to know Jesus more. What a good leader Paul is, right? So I hope that you learn in our Bible story for today. All right, kids. So now are you ready for some question and answer? Very good job. So please get your journal and your pen 
and you can always write the correct answers. And once we are all back in Children's Church, you can show it to us and we will give you extra tickets. Question number one. What is the name of the leader whose life is an example to the church? What is the name of the leader whose life is an example to the church? You got it? Very good. Question number two. Where is he about to go led by the Holy Spirit? Where is he about to go led by the Holy Spirit? So we're talking about a place. You got it too? Very good job, kids. Question number three. What did he do together with the leaders before he left? What did he do together with the leaders before he left? All right, you got that one too? Very nice. And lastly, question number four, always your application question. Can you tell me two characteristics of a good leader? Can you tell me two characteristics of a good leader? All right, I'll give you a few minutes to write it. Are you done? Very good job, kids. So I hope that you learned a lot of things in our Bible story for today. I hope to see you again soon. Kids. I'm Pastor Ruth and this is What's the Word? That's the Word segment. Did you enjoy our Bible story? Awesome! Now, let's learn some more. But before that, let's have a short game. I'm going to show you pictures of animals and you have to give me the first letter of that animal. Okay? Are you ready? Let's begin! For our first animal, what is this? That's right, it's a rooster! And it starts with letter R. Great job, kids! For our second animal, what is this? That's right, it's a lion! And the first letter of lion is letter L. Great job, kids! For our next animal, what is this? That's right, it's an eagle! And it starts with letter E. So we have two letter E here in our work today. For our next animal, what is this? That's right, it's a dog! And it starts with letter Awesome! For our last animal, are you ready? What is this? That's right! It's an alligator! And the first letter of alligator is letter A. Great job, kids! So our word for today is leader. Kids, do you know what the word leader means? The word leader means someone who guides or leads a group of people. Today, we have learned in our Bible story that Paul was also a leader. But he was no ordinary leader because he was a church leader. That's right. Church leaders take care of God's people by praying for them, by teaching them the word of God, by visiting them in their homes and making sure that the people of God are connected not only to the people in the community but also to God. Did you know kids that God gives us leaders who will care for us like Paul? That's right. In Acts 20 verse 28, Paul teaches us that church leaders are like Shepherds! Yes, and shepherds are the ones who take care of the people of God. 
that God has placed these shepherds over us. Do you remember our previous Bible story about shepherds? Yes, that shepherds take care and protect the sheep. And like shepherds, church leaders have the job of taking care and protecting God's people. In our Bible story, Paul was the man that God set to lead the church during the Bible times. Paul was a good church leader because he cared for God's people by teaching them what they needed to hear, not only what they want to hear, but what they need to hear, and by teaching them how to follow Jesus. In the same way, God also gives us church leaders that will guide us in following the Lord. And who are these leaders? It can be your pastors and pastoras. It can be your teachers in kids' church. So kids, I hope you learned something today in our segment. Just continue following the Lord and someday, maybe you can be a church leader too, right? See you again next time! Hello kids! I am Pastora Judy. Last week, we heard our friends from North Campus do the Psalm 91 Challenge. This week, we will be hearing more from our friends in Main Campus. Are you excited kids? Let's start! Psalm 91 He who dares and shelter and most high Invite and shout, O mighty! I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely, He will save you from the fallers near and from the deadly plastic plants. He will cover you with His feathers and under His wings you will find refuge, and His faithfulness will be your shelter and rampart. He will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by him, nor the pestilence that sucks in darkness, nor the destruction that weighs at noonday. A thousand might fall at the side, ten thousand at the right hand, but it will not come near you. You only look with your eyes and see the wreck against and the wicked. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the a lion and the other, young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. For you will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They, they will lift you up in their hands so you won't set your foot against the floor. You will tread the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him, I will protect him, for, for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. Young heart are sorry for him and show you my salvation. Psalms 91. Woo! Good job, kids at Main Campus. I hope you enjoyed watching our friends do the Psalm 91 challenge. And I also look forward to seeing you become part of our challenge. See you next time, kids. Goodbye. Hi, kids. This is Pastor Pat, and it's time for our Did You Know segment. Today, Pastor will be sharing with you three things that we need to know about church leaders. So that's based from our today's Bible story. So kids, you know what to do, right? When Pastor says, did you know, you should say... That's right, you should say what? So kids, did you know that... God gives us church leaders. God cares about us, His people. So, He gives us church leaders to take care of us. As we can see in our Bible story for today, Paul was not the only church leader. In fact, there were a lot of church leaders who met with Paul. God gives us not only one, but many church leaders to take care of us and to pray for us. God gives us church leaders. And kids, did you know that church leaders teach everything about Jesus? Church leaders take care of God's people by 
teaching them about Jesus. They do not teach us what we want to hear, but what we need to hear. Church leaders spend time with the people of God to help them learn about Jesus and to be connected to Him all the more. Church leaders teach everything about Jesus. And kids, did you know that church leaders are like shepherds? Shepherds protect and take care of the sheep. In the same way, Paul taught us that church leaders are like shepherds God assigned to protect and to take care of His people. They are overseers who always watch over God's people and make sure that everyone is following Jesus. Church leaders are like shepherds. So, those are the three things that we need to know about church leaders from our today's Bible story. First, God gives us church leaders. Second, church leaders teach everything about Jesus. And third, church leaders are like shepherds. So, I guess that's it for now for our Did You Know segment. I hope that you learned a lot, kids. See you! Hi, kids! I'm Ate Casey, and today we are going to learn a new dance. Our song for today is entitled, Happy Day! Alright, may I invite you to stand up? One, two, three! Very good! We are going to learn the chorus part and the verse of the song, Happy Day. First one, the chorus. The steps goes with the lyrics, Oh, happy day, you washed my sin away. Oh, happy day, I'll never be the same. Five, six, seven, eight, oh, happy day. Happy day, you washed my sin away. Oh, happy day, happy day, I'll never be the same. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight, oh, happy day, happy day. You washed my sins away. Oh, happy day, happy day. I'll never be the same. We'll be doing the verse part. The steps goes with the lyrics. When I stand in that place, Free at last, meeting face to face. I am yours, Jesus, you are mine. Five, six, seven, eight. When I stand in that place, free at last, meeting face to face. I am yours, Jesus, you are mine. The next step. The steps goes with the lyrics, Endless joy, perfect peace, Earthly pain finally will cease. Celebrate! Jesus is alive. He is alive. Five, six, seven, eight. Endless joy, perfect peace, Earthly pain finally will cease. Celebrate! Jesus is alive. He's alive! Let's do it from the top. Five, six, seven, eight. When I stand in that place, free at last, meeting face to face. I am yours, Jesus, you are mine. And this joy, perfect peace, earthly pain, Finally, we'll cease. Celebrate. Jesus is alive. He's alive. Now, let's do it with 
music. Did you enjoy that, kids? And you did a great job! We would love to see you dance during worship time. And also, you can make a video and share it with us. Till next time, let's worship God together! Hi, kids! So this is me again, Pesora Jai, and you have with me my nephew, Vito. Hi. And today, we are going to sing a song about God being our great shepherd. So how many sheeps are here? Bah! That's right. We are God's sheep. And He is our great shepherd. So are you ready to sing the song with us? Yes. How about you? Are you ready to sing the song? Yes. <laughs> so let's sing the song together. The Lord great shepherd so always remember to walk with him always amen amen so that's it for our song for today see you again kids god bless hi everyone i'm sophia for arts and craft in our bible store today we have learned that church leaders care for our brothers and sisters at church so, we're going to make a church card to remind us about the story. If you're ready, let's get started. For the materials, we need colored papers, pencil, pen, scissors, and glue. First, fold the colored paper in half, then cut. Little kids. Always ask mom and dad to help you with cutting. Done cutting! Then fold the two sides of the paper like this. Opening of card should be in the middle. Next, draw a door. Then cut. windows and cut.
one side. Next, glue the windows on both sides. on top. Open and glue the heart at the middle inside. Then write our verse, love each other with a green wine affection and take delight in honoring each other. Romans 12 verse 10. We're done! There you have it, our very own Artika Pressy made it home. Let us show care to our brothers and sisters at church. And remember, Jesus is the best. Goodbye! Hi kids, this is Pastora Armira. Are you ready to learn a new memory verse song today? Yes, our verse for today is from Psalm 23, verse 1. Repeat after me. Say Psalm 23, verse 1. Very good. Now the song goes something like this. Very good, kids. So always remember, the Lord is our shepherd. We have all that we need. That's it for Memory Verse Song today. This is Pastora Armira. See you again next time. Hello, kids. So did you enjoy our Everyday Jesus program for today? I hope you did. And right now, it's time for us to close in prayer. So, do you still remember our three major prayer requests? Number one is the prayer for our government, that God will always give them wisdom and understanding to make the best decisions for our country. And from our lesson for today, we also learned that God gave us our church leaders as blessings. So we have to pray for them also every day. So let's pray for our pastors, most especially Pastor Samuel, Sister Bev, and Pastor A, and all our pastors in COP, that God will give them wisdom and understanding to also make the best decisions and to guide us closer to Jesus. Our prayer request number two is for our family, that God will always bless and prosper the work of the hands of our parents and that He will always provide for all our needs. And prayer request number three is your own prayer request. What do you want Jesus to do for you? You know that my prayer request for you is for you to always be a good kid, 
a blessing to everybody around you, and fruitful and productive. So let's all do our paramagnets and let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for teaching us today that church leaders who brings us closer to you are good leaders. And God, thank you for giving us our pastors. Thank you for Pastor Somral. Thank you for Sister Bev. And thank you for Pastora A. Thank you so much, God, that you will also give them wisdom and understanding that they will always guide us closer and deeper to you. We pray for our government officials, Lord. Give them wisdom and understanding to make the best decisions for our country. And Lord, we also commit to you our parents. Bless and prosper the work of their hands. And may you continue to provide for all our needs according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. And we also lift to you ourselves, Lord. Help us to be always fruitful and productive at home and that we will always be a blessing and a good kid in the house. We love you so much, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Jesus is the best. Thank you again so much, kids, and see you again next time here at Everyday Jesus.